at the time of making this, you haven't started your YouTube channel yet, but by the time this comes out, you're probably already had some videos out, you know what I'm saying? Probably have some videos out, yeah. So, this is, I'm gonna get your before thoughts before you even start. Like, first of all, what type of content do you think you're trying to create? Uh, so first of all, the type of content I'm trying to create is like, Canelo Joseph Loaf, yeah. KJ Smooth type content, you know, like pranks, public yeah, yeah, trolling yeah. type shit, just vlogging. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, just all around. So you're just like, um, here, I'm, tr I'm trying to think of another example, because I, I know exactly what you mean. Like, there's like another thing that you're, uh, oh yeah, like, uh, like parties and shit. Yeah. Like party, party pranks. Yeah, like going to parties and like messing with all the drunk people bro. and shit. That I'm excited for, bro. That'd be hella fun. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm excited for that shit. That shit's gonna be fun. But like, so, what what like inspired you to do that? Like these these YouTubers you mentioned, like Loaf and shit. Uh yeah, really. Actually, I wanted to be like a YouTuber and like fucked with the idea of being a YouTuber ever since I was like hella little, watching like Phase Adapt and like Phase Ray and all them. Yeah. Let's see. Oh my bad. Go ahead. I didn't mean to call uh, it. But yeah, all those YouTubers really just inspired me of like that new form of content just like vlogging pranking type stuff i think that's just like a funny thread so it's kind of interesting because like the the pranking and shit on youtube really isn't new like there is a whole way back when we were hella young like this was back when i like didn't even have a phone i was back on like the ipod touch like yeah. Roman Atwood, but, yeah, you had Roman Atwood, Vitaly, yeah. Fousey, all the pranks Joey Salas. and then it sort of died off after becoming like really it was the like you go on youtube and you just watch pranks that was the biggest thing for a time period and then it all sort of died off but you're kind of seeing it come back now in a different form i feel like the nelk boys really inspired that shit because they were almost at the they were they were past the whole prank wave type of shit but then they kind of they brought it back in their own way and then you started to see like you had danny duncan which was able to he started back in the beginning all the pranks but he was able to power I power through because he was doing pranks back when Fusi and all them were but he's been able to power through keep his content alive and then like you have the Nelk boys bringing the pranks back and now you see all these people popping out like Balin, Levine you see you see Loaf uh, you got Canel Joseph Jadeon those are a lot of big name people right now along with so many others so it's like like it, it's kind of cool to see that shit like it come back like it, and it's changed it's not the same type of pranks like gold digger prank like it's different it's almost better yeah. it's almost better Stage yeah, fake fucking pranks. Fucking. <laughs> Sam Pepper bullshit. Yeah, bro, you can't do any fake pranks, man. Uh, it's all gonna be real, <clears throat> unscripted, straight from the source content at JJ and Nero. Yeah. Nothing less. Just yeah. filming NPCs. <laughs> NPC trolling. Trolling in Walmart video will probably be up by the time you guys are seeing this. Uh, I don't know what other videos I have up. Hopefully more just like trolling vlogging type videos with Tyron and Noah. Oh yeah. So like you're not even gonna tap into the stoner space though. You're moving to a whole different, whole different genre. Uh, when I get some traction and shit, probably yeah, I'll, I'll bring that in. But uh, I could do pranks with that involved like stoner type things. You know, that'd Bro, be fire. Noah did a stoner prank. It was um on like Halloween. I wasn't a part of. Well, it was so we, fun to film. Yeah, the the video didn't do that good, but it was so fun. What was it? We went we uh went up to like houses like on Halloween when people were trick or treating. And we went up to houses, rang the doorbell, and then we ju we would just start ripping the gas mask. Like we already had it on. That was our costume was the was the gas mask. We just start ripping it. And then like I I thought we would get more like like better reactions, people getting mad or, like trolling. But, I don't know, bro. Like, the NPCs be unexpected. Like, like they're unpredictable, bro. Like, they were all just like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> like, bro. Not even true. It wasn't, like, there are, there's, um, I don't know if you know No One's Safe. Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah. yeah. Like, he, he's, like, a guy that really uh, brought out that, like, weed style of pranking, like, smoking in Walmart. Yeah. So, like, but he's crazy with it. Like, I don't think I can do all that. I don't know how, like, he's, like, I don't, bro, I don't know how, like, he, bro, he's crazy for that shit. You're right. He's crazy for that shit. He's wild. You seen No One Safe, Karen? No. Oh, yeah. That ginger dude? Yeah, bro. 
Yeah, he's wild, bro. Yeah, <laughs> shout out. Shout out. Crazy. Bro, he'll be going in there acting like he's security and shit against other security. <laughs> and then spark up. Like, what the hell? You don't smoke? You don't smoke? What the fuck? He's like, <laughs> weed is the way to heaven. <laughs> when he dresses up, he's He walked up to one of those Christian people that have the microphone on the side of the street. He's like, weed is the way to heaven, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, he's insane, though. He's definitely insane. Yeah, bro, that should, that should tell us sick, though, you know what I mean, that you're starting YouTube grade, because I always push people, or I not even push people, but I always be like, hey, bro, like, if you're passionate about something, you know what I mean, start YouTube about it, because, like, YouTube is, like, a good way to make a good passive income, and it's a good way to, like, you know, build a community type of shit around shit that you like, exactly. and, like, you can meet cool-ass people through it. Like, whenever we went to uh, the fucking Safari Joe's type Safari shit. Safari Joe's, the bro, Turban Float. It was a whole weed community, bro. And, like, we were hella welcome there once we started whipping out the cameras and started oh, filming. And he was like, hey, come over here. Right. You, see, like, you know what I mean? They were hella cool with it. And so, like, it's it's hella cool, you know what I mean? You can build your own community. And, like, I fuck with it for all that shit. And from a business aspect, of course, it's, like, a whole fucking passive income. Once you get it built up, you grind... You know what I mean? You get that AdSense, depends on what type of videos you're making, you know what I mean? <laughs> but then you get the sponsorships and like, bro, like YouTube, YouTube's lit.